Hello everyone and, and, and welcome to Neon Cup, Co Neon Cup Cox Microbe Collection 2019. In case you don't know what these are, they're called giant microbes. They're micro or they're basically plush micro plush microorganisms. And this is my collection as of 2019. I will notify you each time a new microbe comes. Okay. Number one. We have influenza, better known as the flu. Number two, his more notorious brother, Spanish flu. As you can notice, he's wearing a little sombrero. Don't get on me about being controversial. I didn't make these. They're made in China and London, and I don't live in either of those places. Third, common cold, regular size. My friend, my friend, who also inspired me to get giant microbes, gave me this. Number four, regular size water bear, also known as moss piglets or scientifically tardigrades. These microscopic creatures are more are virtually indestructible. In fact, recent news suggests that there may be a thousand plus of them living on the moon. Next, MRSA, also known as methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or in some strains, multiple resistant Staphylococcus aureus. As you can as you can guess, it's a strain of staph, spelled M R S A, and it's a superbug. You can even tell because it comes with a little cape that says MRSA superbug. Well, part of it's covered up, but you can see part of it. And even and even though it's spelled M R S A, believe me, ac do actual doctors call it MRSA, so that must be fine. Number six, Streptococcus pyogenes. Better known as strep throat. Now, in the now, in giant microbes, as you can see, this is this is just known as sore throat, but it's strep. Trust me. Then strep throat again, number seven. But he's a Christmas edition, as you can see. I got a Christmas edition package, which had a lot of stuff in it. Number eight. Bioweapon. Now this comes from a video game called Plague, called um, Plague Inc., which is by Endemic Creations. As you can see, a bioweapon is used in biological warfare, whereas people use diseases and stuff to attack other people. As you can see, he looks notorious. That because, just because, and believe me, he is. <laughs> Now I'm just going to dump the rest out here, and I'll place them in a line later. I'm, and I will tell you that some of these microbes will be repeats. That's just how they come. Number nine, miniature size cold. Unlike, unlike his daddy, I called up bigger ones fathers and mothers and unlike his daddy common cold regular size this common cold this mini common cold came in the package sick day oh yeah this video could get could get gross number 10 poop i think you all know know what feces caca or or excrement or whatever you want to call it is number 11 Log, which, as you can guess, is also poop. Number 12. Campylobacter, a, a Campylobacter, a Campylobacter bacterium. Guess what it causes? Diarrhea. I'm just going to get all of these at once, get them over with. Number 12. Pebbles, also poop. Number 13. Pus. It's not poop, that doesn't mean it's gross. And it's not doesn't mean it's not gross. Mm -hmm. Number 14, swirl. A swirl of you know what? Yeah, you guessed it, poop. Mm -hmm. Um, number 15, mm -hmm. toenail clipping. Mm -hmm. Number 16, mm -hmm. vomit. Mm -hmm. number, number 16, West Nile virus. Right, number 17. West Nile virus. 
Number 18. Classroom Deficit, better known as the Notorious C. Diff, another superbug, this one being highly contagious. Number 18. Night number 19. Cholera. I'm sure you all know what he means. What he is. Number 20. It's another MRSA, except he looks a little bit different than the first one. This one came in a Petri dish package. That one came in a Super Sick Day package. Why do they look, look different? I don't know. As you can see, this one also has a cape. Their bodies look different, though. The one from Super Sick Day has a body stretched out. Wow. This guy just looks like a, bu a bunch of grapes. <laughs> Number 21. Dengue fever. Needs no introduction. Number 22. Salmonella. Uh, also needs no introduction. Numbers 22. 23. And, and also, 24. They're all staph infections. As you can see, staph looks exactly like MRSA, pretty much. Except MRSA's brown and has a cape. That's because all MRSA is is just a multiple or methicillin-resistant strain of little staph guy here. So, that probably means MRSA's a lot more dangerous than staph, right? Probably, but I'm not saying staph infections aren't dangerous. Have I ever had one? No. I hope I don't get one, though. I hear they're pretty nasty. <laughs> Number 25. Earwax. Needs no introduction. They, the stuff in your ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, and did I mention they also have good things in here, too? Like number 25. Tw I mean, 26. White blood cell. Number 27. Pancreas beta cell. Number 28. Hair. Number 29. Another white blood cell. And yes, this countdown includes repeats. Number 30. Blue amoeba. I have a lot of these. Number 31. Golden amoeba. It's an exclusive and it comes in a Christmas package. Number 32, orange amoeba. Yeah, they made a lot of these. Number 33, one of my personal favorites, Estorecha, a.k.a. E. coli. Number 34, norovirus. I have no idea what, who this guy is or what he does, but he was in the super sick day package, so he must be bad. Number 34, um, toe jam. Number 35. Uh, it's a nerve cell, but it's a Christmas edition, so it's an angel. As you can see, a lot of them have the little eyes. Isn't that adorable? Number 37. Right? Um, liver cell. Your cells of your liver. Aren't they cute? Um, number 38. Well, I'm not, now I'm not sure if this guy's a liver or a liver cell, but all I know is that you can turn him inside out, and he and a lot of microbes, including liver cell, can fit in him. I just call him the liver cell's father. Number thirty-nine, um, Shigella, uh, commonly known as the stomach ache. Number forty. Now you all remember Salmonella, right? Well, now it's time to meet Salmonella typhi. And I bet you didn't know that this bacterium was any relative of Salmonella's. But it is. It's his cousin. They both begin with Salmonella, and they both look exactly the same, except this one's red. Number 40, the very notorious, I'll give you a hint, Mary, typhoid fever. <laughs> number 41, muscle cell. Number, four, number 42, don't let him get your skin leprosy. Um, number 43. Boils. Some kind of a skin condition, I believe. Number 44. Or 43. Number four, um, Number 43. Heart cell. 
It's a cell. And it belongs to the number 44. Heart. Number, number 45. Usually they're harmless. That doesn't mean they aren't pests. House fly. Number 45. <laughs> Zombie virus. I don't think they hurt humans, but they do something. <laughs> number 46. Brain cell. They're cells to your brain. Without these, none of us wouldn't exist, and you wouldn't be watching this video right now. I believe they also call these neuron neurons. <laughs> number 47. Now, I told you I was going to do all these in order, all the gross ones, but... But I just couldn't find all of them, so forget the whole order thing, and they're just we're just going in some kind of a random order. Another kind of poop. This one's called, um, perfect. Like, perfect turd. <laughs> um, number 47. Um, uh, now you all, now you all remember this bioweapon, right? Well, time to meet a disease that is actually a bioweapon. From the, from the notorious biohazards package, number 47, anthrax. Commonly used in biological warfare, I believe. Number 48, bone cell. Without these, you would just be a puddle. I don't think, you would, I don't think you'd live. Number 49, rabies. I, I don't know why I have this microbe. He doesn't really give me, he doesn't really give me anxiety that much, but... Usually, even any thought, any other thought of rabies does. You know why? Because that stupid movie. I don't know if you think it's stupid, but I do. Old Yeller. I mean, man, they had to keep the dog in. Now, oh, and by the way, if you haven't read the book or watched the movie, do not listen to the rest of this video or fast forward until twelve thirty or something. Yeah, twelve minutes thirty seconds starting right now. Now, one of the re main reasons I don't like old old Yeller is that the dog gets rabies. And they keep him in there, and he gets his, and his mouth gets all foamy, and it freaks me out. Wouldn't it freak you out, too? Well, kind of gave me sort of a rabies phobia, so thanks a lot, old yeller. And it's kind of a sad story. It, it got this thing called the Newberry, Newberry Medal. Is that some kind of a medal for sad stories? Anyway. Well, now it's 12 minutes and 33 seconds. Time to get, time to get back to the actual thing, because that section is over. Old, people who haven't watched Old Yellow or read the book yet, you can continue. All I can tell you is, it has something to do with rabies. N number 40, number 50, smallpox. He's an ancient plague. He came in an ancient plague box. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that means he's an ancient plague. Number 51, 51's a multiple of 3. Why do I know that? Because 5 plus 1 equals 6. It's a common trick. Why am I saying this? I don't know. It's late, and I'm getting bored. Number 51, mites. Number 52, white blood cells shoot, white blood cells, like this guy, like to shoot these at, ba at bad virus viruses and bacteria. Antibody. Number 53, he looks like a turd. He probably smells like a turd. He was in the biohazards box along with anthrax and a few others. But so he's probably not a turd. Although he looks like a turd, and turds are kind of a biohazard, this guy's much more dangerous. And he gives you th this thing called a hemorrhage. Number 53, Ebola. Number 54, Platelet. Now I have this dog, you know those videos about my dog Bella? Well, she has auto autoimmune problems. She doesn't have very much of these. Or those white blood cells. You need these to fend off viruses. Her... Her plate, white blood cell count or platelet count, whatever, I don't know which one, I can't quite remember. One of them is in the bottom of the low, is in the low, is in the bottom of the normal range. But that's not normal, right? It should be in the middle of the normal range. Well, then why do they call the, the bottom of the normal range normal? Why? Oh, yeah, if you have an answer, please answer. Please do so in the comment sec in this comment section below. I'll happy be I'll be happy to tell the veterinarian. Anyway, number fifty three platelet. Number fifty four, one of the three one of the three hay fevers or, that I could think of or that I have or that are manufactured as microbes. Ragweed pollen. <laughs> number fifty five, malaria. I think these guys ride mosquitoes, but I don't have a mosquito yet. 
So when so when I like to play with them, I just have them ride the fly. Number fifty-six. Um, the second type the second type of hay fever manufactured in giant mi- in the giant microbes corporation. Birch pollen. Now, number fifty-seven. Now, this guy's the most common, commonly known type of hay fever, and and the third and the third diff- and the third hay fever manufactured in giant microbes. I have all three. Came in a petri dish. Grass pollen. N- number fifty-eight. Ulcer. Now, a ulcer is like a hole or, or a some or an abrasion in inside your intestines or stomach or something. Now, how can it, how can a, does the hole look like this with all these flagella hanging out the end? Those are what bacteria and stuff used to swim or fly or whatever. Wrong. This is the bacteria that causes ulcers. Like diarrhea, this isn't really diarrhea. It's the bacteria that causes a kind of diarrhea. And this is an ulcer, and this isn't an ulcer, it's the bacteria that causes ulcers. You see, giant microbes, when they, when the thing is just a puddle of poop, or, or which is actually in there, but when the things, like, has to do with, like, ulcers, which are holes, they can't actually give you the thing. What can they give you? A bunch of, uh, or some kind of an organ with a hole in it? I guess that would work, but they just like to go simple and stick with the bacteria or viruses that make them, which is fine with me, honestly, as long as I have them. Number 59, earache. Now, yeah, now this is number 59, and he is, well, he is streptococcus pneumonia, which is a, which is a strain of pneumonia, but he's just called earache, so he must be minor, right? Well, sure not like his brother. Now, now there's many different kinds of pneumonia, streptococcal pneumonia, pneumococcal pneumonia, which is just like pneumonia, pneumonia. The type of bacteria is pneumonia, and the and the symptoms you get are pneumonia. So it's just called pneumococcal pneumonia. It's like pneumonia having to deal with pneumonia. What's up with that? Anyway, number fifty, streptococcal pneumonia. Why do I know it's streptococcal pneumonia and not not any kind of other n- pneumonia? Because it just says pneumonia. Well, on the website actually www.giantmicrobes.com. Um, go there, please. Lots of cool stuff there. Um, it says the scientific name for this guy is, strepto- is streptococcus pneumonia, which has to be pneumonia, I'm guessing. Um, number 61. Skin cell. Now, I, now I like to think of these little show. My friend and I, the same friend who gave me a common cold, and I gave him a tart. uh, well, they're called water bears on the giant microbes website, but I t- tend to stick to the scientific word tardigrade. Now, we like to play this thing called, like, How Your Body Works Like a TV Show, featuring all mi- featuring all these microbes. Now, this guy's a liver cell. At first, I wanted him to be the host, but then skin cell came along, and he became the host. Now, I just feel like a, d- a lot of different kinds of microbes are hosts. Now, I've been talking for 18 minutes. I'm going to be talking for 20 minutes. I feel like I feel like I feel like one of those uh, I feel like one of those radio talk shows at like five in the morning, like ninety seven X Dwyer and Michaels. I don't even know if you get that. It's just ninety seven X the channel I get. It, it could be Philip and Theodore, or whatever. It's it could be Philip and Theodore. Maybe it's from. Um, Maybe it's from Xander and Alex. Who knows? Just, there's all kinds of radio talk shows out here there. And I feel like one of those guys. Anyway. Number 50... Number 62. Skin cell. Let's get 61. Number 62. This came in the dog micro pack. So did rabies. So did... So did number 3. I So did number 53. Heartworm. Now, number 52. Mange. I mean, number 62, and next number 63. Number 62, mange is like a... It's not quite a flea, it's not quite a stick, tick, it's not quite a mosquito, but it makes your dog itch. What's the difference between it and mice? Mites, they don't, they both look the same. But this is also called scabies, and I don't know what else this is also called. 
Um, okay. Now number three. Number 53. Heartworm. Now, this guy actually comes as a dog toy. I have a dog. What? I have a dog here. Named Indy. Say hi, Indy. Woohoo. And this actually comes as a dog toy. Now, I didn't give it to her because it's mine and I like to collect these. But, it's, but it comes as a dog toy. It's the only format that's available. So listen. Even as a squeak. Sorry, Indy. Can't let you have this. You have plenty of other toys. This is mine. <laughs> anyway. Number 64. Also came in the Biohazards box package. Brain eating amoeba. Now, you can probably tell he's not an amoeba. Because this is an amoeba. And does he look like this? No. But you see, amoebas are able to like, change their shape or something. This bacteria, or whatever he is, called brain eating amoeba. The only reason he's called an amoeba is because he can change shape and stuff. They used to have a petri dish on Giant Microbes website called called the Brain Eating Amoeba Petri Dish. It showed th three different shapes and forms of Brain Eating Amoeba. I don't know if it's still around that if it's still around now or if they stopped making it. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Anyway, he's number sixty-three. Number sixty-four. Again in the Biohazards box. Toxic mold. He's mold. He's toxic. He's black. Yeah, black. He has black eyes with little blue rings around them. Now, I'm sure there's many different types of toxic mold. This is just one of the types. I can't remember where I put the back of the box, the biohazards box that this came in. But on the back of it, it probably says, like, whatever. It prob probably just says, <laughs> yeah, it probably says something like, like, this this strain of toxic mold because there's got to be more toxic molds out there this is just one of them. and it's also number 64 in my collection number 65 gangrene now now i'm just gonna say i i don't i advise against getting botox because you're getting the same bacterium that's related to c diff and as well as well as tetanus, I have C diff here. Now they have these certain shape like this. Now yeah, Botox, Botox, C diff, and uh, tetanus. They're all called Clostridium bacteria, and they all have that certain shape. I have another Clostridium bacterium, gangrene. There's two types, dry and wet. One ha I think one affects the bloodstream and one doesn't, or something like that. Now. You see, gangrene, it's a clostridium bacteria, but does it have that shape? No. I don't know how it's classified, but it mustn't be by, mustn't primarily be my, by looks. I'm not saying I don't like this guy. I'm saying he's kind of the outcast. But I'm sure he'll go along perfectly with smallpox. They kind of look alike. Smallpox, smallpox is a little, uh, wider. No offense, smallpox. <laughs> Number 65. Now... P urine. Number sixty-six. A puddle, a diarrhea. Because I'm pretty sure diarrhea is essentially poop and pee combined. That's why they look exactly the same, pretty much. Number sixty-seven. No, number sixty-six. Cough. Now there's many different ways to catch a cough. This is just one of them. I, I now I'm I'm really not sure what kind of bacteria this is. It's just a bacteria that gives you a cough. Ba a bacterium or, or, or a virus, who knows, that, that gives you a cough. Not whooshing cough, not cleb or crep or crop or croup or croup, croup, yeah, whatever that is. Um, it's just some kind of bacterium that gives you a cough. As I, as I can say, they just have to pick some random bacterium, like diarrhea, and that, that, that's not the only thing that causes di diarrhea. Ulcer? I have absolutely no idea about ulcer. I've never had one. Um, but, um, my father's almost had one. I'm, I'm not sure about the, I'm not, I'm not sure about the ulcer. But I'm sure there's some other kinds of things that can also cause ulcers. I heard, I hear stress can cause ulcers, but it has to be a lot. Um... Anyway, that's probably only one of the bacteria and or virus bacteria and or viruses that cause it. And same with this little guy. 
number 66 of my collection, Cough. Number 67, the scab. A scab is when your skin tries to heal a large wound. Do not pick at it. It's tempting. But that but a scab is like your skin's natural bandage, so leave it alone. If if you can. I don't blame you if you pick on if you pick it, I would just advise against it. Number sixty seven. Another methicillin resistant staphylococcus aris, multiple resistant staphylococcus aris, multiple a lot of strains resist in Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, the superbug with the K, MRSA, the, the third MRSA. Number, 60, number 68, my fourth and final MRSA. Yeah, I have four of those. Three of them came in a Petri dish. As you know, Petri dish has three of things, most likely, most times. Now, yeah, I have three of those. And of these, I have four, because three came in a Petri dish, and one, uh, this one right here, came in a, uh, came with the Super Sick Day package. The Super Sick ba Day box. Bo the Super Sick Day box, I'm losing my mind. Okay, now, number 69. Now, now, you may notice that I might have lost my counting somewhere, somewhere around, somewhere along the way. But I'm just going to recount all of them at the end. Don't worry, not with all the comments or whatever. I'm just going to count each one individually, not even saying what they are, and tell you the final amount. But for my sake, this is number 69, Booger. Scientific name, Mucus. Now this is one of the boogers, a.k.a. Mucus, a.k.a. Snot, or dried up crusty snot. Or sometimes not so dried up and crusty, but still snot. This is one of the few, one of the few things that people actually know the scientific name for, mucus. As as I told you, there are some good microbes. There are some horrible ones like C. diff, bioweapon, and rabies. Thanks a lot, old yeller. That was sarcastic. I hope you knew. Knew. <laughs> number seventy. I did not know I had this many microbes. Okay, number seventy, plasma. It's in your bloodstream, part of your blood. Number seventy-one. Another plas another plasma.